we're finally done. And um, unfortunately, you guys aren't going to get to see the video of the weathering, but you know, everyone knows how to do that. <laughs> but here, why don't you come in here for a second? I'm going to show you something what we got in here. The prop prop, we got a 2210. Spinner came with the kit, which was cool. Inside the motor, we got a DLE 55, don't know, a Pitts exhaust. This is where I've got some of my switches, so batteries. Um, inside, I've got a 4.8 nickel metal hydrate charging and switch. Two switches on each side, two HD switches. And the battery running down here is a 6 volt nickel metal hydrate. Got two of them. Redundancy just going into the JR921. That way you're able to switch on each side. Pretty simple in here. You've got your airlines going in here with the DS821. Just a simple little on off, that's all it's got to do. This is an empty for my for my choke. I've made my own little bell crank, so to speak. That's an empty Futaba 5312 gutted out. That way it just moves back and forth. I don't have it on a switch. So we've got the receiver. Here's our connectors that will show. Left and right aileron. And I've got running on a matchbox my flaps. Everything's tucked in tidy. Servos inside, HS7955 titanium gear. Now I'm running, some people don't do this, but I am, I'm running the wheel with the rudder. So, wheel and rudder do turn at the same time. Everyone, sometimes they put them on a different servo. And these two are my elevators, and those are 56, 45 MG high techs. I love high techs. So on this side we got a fill-in right here. Next to this, as we fill it up, it's a little pressure gauge as it comes out. 100 pressures takes this thing out four notches. And uh, ignition cutoff. Very, very important. Everybody get one of these fiber optic transmitter ignition cutoffs. Go to www.smartfly.com. Okay, Smartfly, I want a new one when, uh, when you hear this. And um, that's about all there is to this thing. It's pretty hey Dave, basic inside. Good. All right, we're gathering a giant today. It's going to be a cool day. This won't be the maiden flight. Unfortunately, I am a little superstitious about showing the first flight. <laughs> a lot of the guys out here have kind of showed me the proof of that. <laughs> um, one thing every warbird needs, make your own little custom stand. These things are pretty cool. There's not much to it. You want to set that in. And so what it does is it pops in there, sits in place like that. Just have an extra hand now. So from in here, you can see how easily accessible everything is. I can get in, I can get my lines, I can tighten everything up. All right, there's our flaps. Put these little clips on here, it just helps keep the servos together. Always, I always, on my ailerons, I'll at least put something on one side. That ensures uh, you get the right one on the correct side. So we'll pop that together real quick. Pop that back in. And you know, best thing to do when you're doing this is normally don't create, a, don't make a video so you don't screw up, <laughs> like I just did. So here, that's why I ran out of one. <laughs> See, always look. Okay. Don't Here's my matchbox, by the way, for the... Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, matchbox. That'd be handy. Helps to be able to have your flaps together. There, that's right. Now we just get everything tucked in nicely. Be careful not to pinch anything. Let's take off our third arm. Here, I'll pop plugs up in the front. There we go. All right, now... A quick look inside, make sure everything is clean. Beautiful. Wings go on with a couple plastic wing bolts. Wing, plastic wing bolts are a good thing, I've learned. After that last crash, it saved the wing. <laughs> Didn't tear up everything. They actually broke like they're supposed to. Didn't rip out the whole plane. So, make sure those are in. Because if those aren't in, it's going to go in. 
Okay, what I use for air is a little Husky, the tough name and tools. So a little power pack, 300. Okay, I'll uh, eventually get this in somehow. All right, let's pop that in. It's got a nice gauge. I go to one. Point. Now, one thing I want to do is test and make sure things are working right this morning. So we need to get the receipt. I've got some giant Robart retracts. These are really nice. As you can see they got some little mini struts set up in there. The tail wheel is retractable. Alright, we're on. Gears down. Gears up. Alright, it's working. Just one cycle. And I normally do four cycles on setup just to make sure everything's working. Check the flaps. So there's four. And that one's a little slow on that side, but you know, as long as they come up, I don't care. And that's good enough for me. So it looks like we don't have any air leaks. What I also like to do After that was five, I believe. Is I'll hook this back up to get to see how much air I have, and I've probably got about 60. I should have about 60 pounds, give or take, and I do. So that's still enough for a couple more. Worst case scenario, if I decide to do a bunch of touch and goes, and um, get it back up. To Good. Let's get her flying.